Bras, 150,000 subs. That is insane. We're gonna be doing 100 tips and tricks in order to celebrate. Now, I got a couple really exciting things that I wanna let the bras know about. The first thing being my amazing friends have actually helped me purchase and build a streaming PC. So within the next few days, I'm actually going to finally start streaming for you guys. We're gonna be going over and finding a ton of tips and tricks on stream as well as finally being able to do sub games with you guys as well as we're going to be playing a ton of PUBG over there so if you guys want to come hang out have a total blast on stream together be sure to check out the link down below the second thing is that I was thinking about doing maybe like a day in the life of coconut bra and this would only happen like once or twice every month or maybe a couple weeks or something but there's just been a ton of exciting stuff going on over here in Hawaii that I would really like to share with the coconut bra family you guys have been such a huge part of my life recently and I cannot thank you guys all I mean 150k it says a lot so let me know what you guys would think down below now in no order of good or bad bad to good or whatever let's jump on over to our first of 100 tips and tricks and our 150,000 subscriber special a little known fact about Mira is that she can actually counter Thermite and Habana in the exact same way that Bandit does. Now keep in mind that when you are doing this with Habana, there are six pellets that come out, so it's pretty dang hard to hit all six, but keep in mind that that is an option. And while I'm not saying this should be a go-to strat, just keep it in the back of your mind because not many people know about it. Our second spot is going to be a way that you can counter pixel peaks by lying down and getting into the position underneath of a windowsill. You can actually line it up and then do a standing pre-fire. Now for the bras that watch every single one of my uploads, you probably have seen this one already. We actually went and got four different amazing nitrocell locations on Chalet. This one is going to take out any thermite that's on the left hand side. Did you guys know that you can actually take the hostage on plane and throw him off of the edge and still come out as the victor? Yeah, not many people know about this one. Now on coastline, there's actually a secret entrance that you can use in order to get into the penthouse. All you have to do is do the parkour trick land down here and from here you will actually get a vault option when you run and vault into the penthouse. Now I've been getting a lot of questions on how you can practice quick leans and while the pool table is here and a lot of people pretty much 100% of the people know that you can actually play pool what I use it for actually is to practice my quick leans I'll quick lean once shoot a ball quick lean once shoot the other one. Now this one here, in my opinion, is the best Kavera spot on the map house. All you need is an impact nade. You don't even have to be Kavera if you don't want to. This is an absolutely epic spot in the master bedroom on the map house. Now when you guys choose to spawn on the alley access on the map bank, instead of climbing up this ladder, it's actually better to just repel up from here. That way you're going to avoid more so of the runouts that are coming from not just up top, but also on the bottom too. While you're climbing the ladder, you can't shoot. While you're repelling, you can. Right here is a really good wall bang to take out this camera before you make an entrance on this side of the map bank. This rotation right here that you're about to see from the stock room into the hallway is one of my favorites. You won't even be detected. As you can tell in this game, the enemies didn't even realize that I made the rotate and we were able to finish off winning the round. This corner right here on the map coastline, especially when defending the penthouse, is a great one to utilize because you cannot get flanked very easily. As you can tell and from these cameras, I'm completely safe from either side and I'll have the advantage for the peak. Don't ever reinforce between bomb sites. One, you're going to get team killed and two, you're going to be blocking off the paths for yourself. On the map cafe, instead of using the peak right here, which still is a very viable option, come over here to this cart right here, and then from here you'll be able to get an even deeper angle, and you're gonna see me take out two guys right now. Switch. Um, the north wall Another one, same angle, dude. 
while we're on cafe even if these walls are reinforced especially if you're ash you will actually be able to vault up here and shoot over the reinforced walls and take out anybody that's holding up behind the counters in kitchen now this was in a recent video that i posted but this is probably one of my favorite spawn kills as of right now it's still getting pulled off almost every single time that i play bank you can see it's absolutely savage not many people expect it all right so going on the complete opposite of spawn kills we're going to be doing a quick cavera spot as you can see you just blew up this desk and now you got a crazy dark corner now this one is not canal specific whatsoever i just want to point out anytime that you're playing pulse or feel like you might have an opportunity to do some window runouts don't forget to prep the bottom of the window that way you can just walk straight up to it and vault out definitely going to surprise some people because they think that it's a full window this camera right here is one of the best on canal not much else to say Keep in mind while you're playing consulate, whether you're attacking or defending, there's so many floors that are breakable. These are two main entrances that you're going to be watching that go all the way into the lobby. And from here, it's pretty much just a top hold and admin office. You can stop anybody entering this window and also the main door. Oh, so you guys like being a little bit more aggressive? How's this one? We're going to take a three speed vault straight out of the weight room and go for some spawn kills. If that's still not quite brave enough, you can actually go and reinforce the hatches above the weight room by the strip club and by where the bedroom is. These hatches are really hard to get to going to throw a lot of people off if you're actually successful. Now Glaz and now Dokebeak are able to shoot through the windows. When you're playing Mira inside of this room, be sure to crouch. Do not place it standing up. When you stand up, they will actually be able to shoot you if they go far enough back on the track. If you're crouching, you're going to be safe. Now, everybody should know this one by now. If you sub to Coconut Broad Gaming, it's going to make sure that you stay up to date on all the coolest tips and tricks in the future. Okay, fine. If that one was too lame, let's do a three-story line of sight and get anybody that's vaulting over through the skylight and completely protect the upstairs from an absolutely ridiculous angle. Now, when you're playing castle, be on the lookout for when there's soft walls above the castle. And remember that if you bring a shield along with you, you can get some really nice angles looking down onto unsuspecting victims. Now, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually look in between some reinforced walls. This first one is going to be looking down the hall in between tea room. The second one and my favorite is going to be on the connector looking to where the wine cellar is on Chile. This one is so sneaky and so well hidden. It's going to throw a ton of people off. Obviously, one of the best things that you can do to deny information is by taking out the cameras. Now, Oregon is one of those few maps where you can literally take out every single camera while still from the safety of being outside. All right, so now we got a couple canal tricks that the legendary Zyronic X pro player of playing duck showed me. This first one is gonna be a way on how you don't even need Thatcher in order to open up this garage on canal. All right, that's totally fine. So they got someone juggling bandits on it. Let's just kill him from half the map away. Mm -hmm. 
Now this one's just an honorable mention. It doesn't work as good anymore, but I had to throw this one in. This is one of the reasons that I met Dan Samwoja, the amazing admin of our Discord server. This was the bandit slide trick. This is gonna be a quick one. Now similar to Glaz, Doke B and Vigil can make murder holes through castle and get some really cheeky angles. Now a lot of people don't realize exactly how fast you can actually repel and get into the top four by swinging in. Most people think you have to actually repel all the way down. That's not the case. Now we're gonna be covering my favorite Cavera spot on the map border, this one was found by the bras over at the Dangleberries. Absolute legends. Be sure to check them out for even more epic hiding spots. All right, this one right here, we're going to be taking out the garage camera on the map chalet with a floor wall bang. You can either use an explosive charge or just straight shoot it through the floor. doesn't matter. Be sure to remember this one wherever you decide to attack the garage from. Now, when you're playing bomb on consulate, when you're defending the first floor, this is kind of a standard hold that you absolutely need to remember whether you're attacking or defending this one's going to give you a huge angle onto the main entrance so if you're attacking it be sure to clear the top four first now some of the best claymores are placed at the top of the stairs at a crazy good angle but don't forget that some stairs you can simply just vault over the side to completely avoid the tripwire now every time when I'm playing bank and I know that we need to clear out some roamers in the archives in the lobby area, I'll pretty much always come over here to the ATMs area and check this angle and then attempt to cut them off. When you're playing cafe and you want to see people repelling up onto the little balcony area, if you stand on top of this desk, you'll actually be able to see them as they come up. All right, let's do some old school spawn kills that still work. This first one's going to be on border. and one of my favorite ones on coastline. Now there's lots of really cool tricks we learned with the new operators. This first one's gonna be the IQ and Doke B combo. When they go to deactivate their phones, IQ will actually pick it up. Now when you're attacking the laundry room, instead of standing straight above the stairs in order to look down, it's gonna make you very vulnerable to nitro cells. It's actually better to stand over in the armory and peek right and then that way you'll have an actual deeper angle into the very bottom of the stairs and laundry room. Now why weren't these guys looking at me? It's because I meleeed out the bathroom window and instead of spawn killing from them, I made them look at it and I took them out from the other side. Now when you know someone's in trouble and it's a calculated risk, don't be afraid to do jump outs. You can use shields in combination with hatches in order to jump from the hatch onto shields and get into some really, really sneaky hiding spots. All right, now this one I discovered really early on. We're going to get some pretty creative stuff with lesion. One of my favorite things to do is to place them on windows because they can't take lesion traps out while they're repelling. Now this one's a really cheeky two floor mirror that we're going to be able to use in order to watch red stairs as well as a window entrance upstairs in the cigar lounge. All right, now I went back and dug through old clips, found one of me using Jaeger ACOG, and that's because I wanted to show how long I've been using this spot and how well it works. Now this is a great nitro cell spot from the red carpet, and you're gonna be shooting it all the way up into the cigar shop, and anybody coming from the red stairs attempting to attack the third floor is gonna have quite a surprise. Now this was an epic clip back when Zironic showed it to me. You can actually use this hatch in the corner on canal in order to elevate your character model and able to see you through the little crack right here. 
Now this was a new take on a variation on a standard defense while playing in the basement and locker area on the map bank. Normally the mirror is on the front wall, but for this one we're actually holding up in the lockers, shooting out the top part of the next wall over, and so any attacker is going to have that little extra layer to have to shoot past, while still the defenders are going to be able to get their smokes and nitro cells over it. This Valkyrie camera spot is one of my favorites on Skyscraper. Alright, we're going to be doing two quick frost setups. This first one's just going to be on this entrance. If you place them below windows, it's going to be very obvious. People always check that. And from here, you can actually shoot anybody that gets trapped from the floor below. Now the next variation is going to require a friend. If you're able to have someone blow up the bench, you're going to be able to place it in this insanely dark corner and take out so many people with it. Yep, I like running parkour in all video games I play. Here's another little spot on bank. It's going to help you get to where you need to be that much faster. Now here's that legendary drone spot on Chile that we learned from Pangu in one of his pro matches. Alright, so here's another three floor line of sight all the way from the garage on canal all the way up to the top. And as you guys know, this is a really common mirror place and it's going to give you an instant takeout. Another amazing thing that I learned from Zyronic is that you can hide some pretty cool stuff inside of these vases. One of my favorites is Frost Trap. Now remember, if you're playing on Chalet and you don't have a teammate that's a Thatcher or anything to take out mutes or bandits, remember that you can go into the lobby or the third floor, create a line of sight through the floor and take anything out that may be on the garage, including somebody that may be juggling bandits. Now causing some destruction on the map Oregon and taking out the top part of this wall is a great echo defense when you're defending the laundry room basement. Yep, Siege is a pretty destructible game. Here we're protecting barbecue from Geisha. Here's another really useful camera wall bang. This time we're gonna be over on Clubhouse and this is just right at the intersection of the stairs and yet again you can use an explosive or just straight up shoot it through the floor. Now this one is not map specific whatsoever but be sure to take out those speakers regardless of what map you're playing on and it'll allow you to hear your enemies that much better. Hiding stuff in plants works just as good as vases. Some of my favorite yet again are frost traps. Title says it all, pretty much snowboarding down a Christmas tree, landing on a little edge and going for an epic flank. You guys let me know if this is the coolest flank ever or not. One of the best sneaky Habana holes that you could do with another operator, but since the wall is reinforced, we're creating a really high line of sight. Not many people are going to be expecting you to be standing this high up. Most times they're going to be expecting a grenade to come through, but nope, surprise, it's Habana's face and it's going to shoot you. Now, when you're defending the train room, it's always a good idea to take out this floor right here. That way, anybody that vaults over the window is going to be completely taken out because you'll be able to see them from this set of stairs and they won't be able to see you. Now, this one is not map specific, but be sure to remember that thatchers can go through floors and walls and rooftops. So if there's anything on a window or anything, you can always drop it on the ceiling and take it out. Is there too much spawn kills in this video? All right, that's okay. Let's start punishing some people that are spawn killing. This was going to be a great one all the way up on the yellow stairs on the map consulate and counter any spawn peeker here. Anytime you're attacking or defending cafe, you got to keep this one in mind. This is kind of a standard pixel peek that so many people will be holding. And keep in mind that if you throw an impact grenade onto this bench, you can actually hide even further inside of the corner. Alright, now we learned a ton of things last year. One of my favorite ones 
were certain window runouts this one being one of my top ones on my list now you could go for spawn kills in the christmas market but then you got to watch your left hand side the best time to use this is when you're defending kitchen and time is going down on the clock and people are still outside on the window yeah that one was badass let's do another one but this time on consulate All right, so on this one, we're going to be doing a really sneaky chalet flank. If you ever get pinched in the bedroom, keep in mind that you can actually run outside and make it into the office without being detected and come around behind the enemy. So this position right here is one of the strongest when you're defending towards the library area, and this is why it's so common. Anybody coming up the ladder has absolutely no chance. They're going to have to either come below you Get nades up here, and anytime you're just holding this angle, it's just such a strong position. Here's a really sneaky camera that's going to help you watch on cafe regardless of what objective you are defending. On bank, you can actually repel up the north side wall and from here you can get some really nice angles and like the dangleberry showed us, if you're Habana, you can actually get the hatch that overlooks the vault. Now you can straight up hunt down Vigil with IQ. Anytime that Vigil's cloak is activated, he will show up. Here's another really great 2-4 mirror watch. This one's going to be all the way down by the maintenance entrance on the outside of kitchen and you can see all the way up to the penthouse doorway. Now on this one we're going to be combining a hatch drop hiding spot in combination with a crazy line of sight that's going to watch the staircase coming down into the cargo hold. From here, you're going to see their legs before they even see you. Title says it all. Anytime you play border and I approach this area, I always pre-fire it because it's such a common rotation for defenders. This is a great angle to hold when people are able to breach the hatch inside a kitchen and you're defending the arsenal room on the map clubhouse. This is a really great line of sight. All right, so let's take a break from being passive. Let's get some more spawn kills on. These are two of my favorite ones on Skyscraper. I know I kind of cheated, combined two, so I guess it counts as 101 tips. I, I don't know, totally worth it though. Here's the second one. How can I not include this one? This is from one of our most popular uploads ever. This is from the Pro League Parkour video. Great rotation when you're playing on border so that you don't have to take the time to repel. Now anytime you find yourself attacking the weight room and the bedroom, while these walls right here are reinforced, be sure to remember that you can shoot fuse and break above the reinforced wall and take out anybody that's bunkering down in the bathroom. Alright, now here is what in my opinion is one of the best spots for Cavera or just in general hiding spots on the map cafe. Yeah, you're right, that chalet line of sight for the nitro cell was pretty sweet. Now for the second one, we're going to be throwing it behind the snowmobile and taking out anybody that's a little bit further back. Now this is another one that is not map specific, but for this spot specifically, you can melee out the bottom of a window and take out anybody that's holding up on the scaffolding. Now, one of the first things that I did when I switched to PC that I made instant results in how I played the game is I changed my field of view all the way up to max at 90 as compared to 60 what you see right here. 
Uh, overall, it just gives you so much better peripheral vision and it looks so much cleaner and it's just so much easier for me to focus. And yet it does come down to personal preference, so test it out. Now this one right here is my favorite Kavera spot and overall hiding spot if you have an impact grenade on the map constantly. It's so dark and it's so well hidden. All right, and of course I had to include this. This is the original clip from Zyronic when he showed me the amazing, probably one of the longest line of sights I've ever seen on canal, literally from one side of the map to the other. All right, you guys, so now if you're playing Echo, keep in mind that you can actually get it stuck on the outside of a windowsill. Sometimes it can be a little bit temperamental, but just play around with it and mess with the settings and you'll get it. Right here is one of my favorite Ella bomb spots to use when I'm defending on top of the dorms on the map Oregon. As soon as they vault in, you're gonna get the notification. You can either wall bang the mattress or just straight go around the corner and pre-fire it. All right, now here's something that I discovered back in the beginning of 2017 and I'm still using it to this day. You can literally get rid of a ton of different walls that have banded on them by placing the thermite charge on the floor. Doesn't work on every wall, but it does work on a ton of them. And yes, if you do this correctly, you will be able to crawl through. All right, now using a shield, here's one of my favorite angles to hold on the brand new map tower. This is from gift shop all the way into lantern room. All right, now kicking it back to old school year one strats. This is yet again, another viable option going into year three. If you melee the castle 11 times, you can just melee it a 12th time and get a huge surprise on the enemy team. Yep, I love parkour spots. Throwing it back, we're gonna be doing the two original skylight drops. The second one is a newer one that I recently learned. This first one we're going to be warming up and once you get this one down you'll be ready to move on to tip number 98. All right, so you got that one down? Good. Now let's flank the enemy team with something they've never seen before. All right, now this is another guaranteed pre-fire that I will always be doing anytime I play Chalet. I just simply vault up onto this rock and shoot through the kitchen all the way into the trophy room. And a lot of times this is such a common connector, you're gonna pick someone off. All right, now evolving that spot, 100% credit to this trick goes to the legend noted. He's the one that discovered that if you vault from the side of that first rock, you can actually get even higher up and check for an even deeper angle into the trophy room through the kitchen. So hats off to you, bro, epic spot. That's gonna wrap it up. We finally hit 100. Like I said before, 150K bras, that is amazing. I cannot wait to see what else we can pull off in the future. So excited for this coming year. Let me know what you guys thought of this video down below and let me know which number was your favorite tip. I love you guys all. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace.